10 Reasons Not to Move to Las Vegas Sin City, as Las Vegas is colloquially known, is among the most populated cities in the USA. Las Vegas, Nevada is located in Clark County, in a valley on the surface of the Mojave Desert. There are mountain hills across all sides of this city. It has a pleasant climate, a manageable cost of living, many housing options, and exciting tourist attractions. On the negative side, anybody with a gambling or alcoholism problem should probably avoid the city. Furthermore, many individuals lose everything due to gambling or drug misuse, and crime is a major issue. Let's go through the negative aspects of living in Sin City so you can make an informed choice. In case you need more convincing, here are 10 reasons why you shouldn't relocate to Las Vegas. Number 10. Lack of Greenery In Las Vegas, you won't find any verdant meadows or wooded places. Only a few well-placed ornamental trees and plants may be found inside the municipal limits. This is because Las Vegas has to make do with a relatively little water supply and may have to implement water conservation measures at certain times of the year due to drought. Out in the suburbs or the desert, you won't have much luck growing trees or plants unless they're hardy enough to survive the intense heat and lack of water. Number 9. Surrounded by the Desert Getting to other cities or states from Las Vegas will include traveling across the desert that surrounds the city. When combined with the heat of summer, this may make driving a bit of a risk. A lack of flora and fields also detracts from the area's aesthetic appeal. The desert has a unique beauty of its own, although it could be missing some of the natural attractions seen in other parts of the nation. Moving to Vegas, among the first characteristics you'll realize is how arid it is. Humidifiers and other means of keeping hydrated are essential. For example, if you're a musician, it is your responsibility to maintain the health of your instruments by giving them the moisture they need to prevent the wood from cracking. Number 8. Difficult to make friends it's true that Vegas attracts individuals from all walks of life, but the city has also been called transient by many. In a place where many individuals have neither the time nor the interest to get to know their neighbors, it is easy to feel alone after relocating. Those who relocated to Las Vegas with the expectation of establishing new friendships and relationships said they were forced to put oneself out there a lot more frequently than they had hoped. Number 7. Bugs like any city, Las Vegas has its fair share of annoying pests. Common pests include cockroaches, ants, and mosquitoes. Las Vegas is home to a wide variety of pests, including scorpions, snakes, and other reptiles, simply because of the city's warm climate. Scorpions, which may be dangerous, tend to hide in dark, damp places inside people's homes, while cockroach and other insects can spread illness because they harbor germs. Number 6. Construction and Pollution there's so much construction going on in Las Vegas that many dwellers of the Sin City consider the orange construction crane as the unofficial bird of Las Vegas. That isn't anything to be shocked about. Given the increasing prosperity of Las Vegas, you'd be hard-pushed to locate more than a block without bumping across one of those magnificent birds. Continuous building both in residential and public locations is a guarantee, particularly given the great climate settings, and while it might account for significant traffic concerns, Concerns, it is a clear indicator that you will constantly look at things being freshly constructed in Las Vegas. Pollution levels in Las Vegas are high enough that it is included in the group of the country's most polluted areas. It's rated 13th on the list of contaminated cities by ozone pollutants. People with respiratory illnesses or other sensitivities should not consider making it their permanent residence due to the very poor air quality. Las Vegas has evolved in the previous several years. Furthermore, the pollution in Las Vegas is due to human activities, such as building and driving, as well as industrial and commercial pollutants. Also, the expanding population, decreased rainfall, and hot temperatures play a role in keeping the air unhealthy in Las Vegas. Number 5. Education while families may enjoy many activities together, some may be put off by the reputation of Nevada's public schools and think twice before settling down here with children. The academic sector in Nevada frequently comes at the bottom, 
In 2018, the state dropped out the chart rating all 50 states, including Washington, D.C., in government K-12 education. However, the quality of the state's government institutions may not be a major factor in your decision to relocate there if you don't plan to establish a family very soon. In contrast to other educational districts in the nation, the Clark County school system's rates quite low. That is partially due to the fact that Las Vegas's initial foundation wasn't centered on establishing facilities for domestic life and higher degrees. Rather, it was established to help the casino and hotel businesses. Las Vegas in its whole was not designed with young kids in mind. Number 4. Car Insurance is High Las Vegas vehicle insurance rates are around $145 more yearly than Nevada's state average. They're also around $620 greater than the U.S. yearly average. While GEICO's auto insurance prices in Nevada are cheaper than those of most other insurers, shopping around is still necessary to get the lowest possible quote. Due to the city's fast population growth, accident claims in Nevada's largest metropolis have increased in recent years. The distinctive nightlife environment in Sin City likely contributes to the city's greater rate of drunk driving when compared to the rest of Nevada. A spike in car theft is cited by several insurers as a contributing factor to rising rates. Number 3. Driving Under the Influence or DUI an increase in deaths and collisions has been documented in a recent study from the Department of Public Safety. According to the FBI's Uniform Crime Reporting Program and the United States Census Bureau, Las Vegas has the highest rate of driving under the influence of alcohol. Lots of folks claim they've been strolling on the sidewalk and observed a bunch of hopped-up junkies. Opioid usage has decreased, while the use of illicit drugs has almost quadrupled. Throughout the state of Nevada in 2016, there were 7.5 fatalities per 100,000 persons attributable to psychostimulants. Deaths attributable to the use of psychostimulants rose by 32% in 2016. In 2016, prescription opioids were the cause of mortality for 8.9 out of every 100,000 Nevadans. In 2016, though, there was a 9% decrease in prescription opioid-related fatalities in the state of Nevada. Number 2. Heat the scorching summer temperatures are a major drawback to living in Las Vegas. The climate in Las Vegas is dry and hot. Only during the winter months does Las Vegas get any significant precipitation. Despite relatively temperate winters and cool evenings, Las Vegas's summers may be unbearable. It may become really hot in Las Vegas. In the middle of the summer, Las Vegas has highs of 105 degrees Fahrenheit and lows of 79 degrees Fahrenheit on average. While many people like the warm and dry climate of Las Vegas, it isn't ideal for everyone. Temperatures throughout the warmer months often exceed 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The city's dry heat might become oppressive. However, the summers might be more pleasant for people who have a swimming pool at their residence. Number 1. Not many plants or trees the Mojave Desert, the smallest of the North American deserts, is where Las Vegas is found altogether. In Las Vegas, there is hardly any vegetation. There is grass and pom-poms here. The Joshua tree is the desert's signature plant. Since the air is so dry, nearly little moisture remains on the ground or in the plants, and the heat and dryness are magnified. There is also a paucity of flora since tourists and locals alike like desert-themed hotels and eateries. The arid setting of Las Vegas means that the city lacks any significant vegetation. There are groomed lawns and a surprisingly large number of golf courses, but after a time, those who are not native to the desert will begin to want for a forest setting. Fine creases and wrinkles are more likely to form in dry areas because the skin loses its natural hydration. That doesn't mean you're doomed, it merely indicates your skincare routine needs some work. It's recommended that you increase your water intake, use moisturizer, and cover yourself with sunscreen. Conclusion Las Vegas is one of the liveliest cities in the world, with round-the-clock entertainment and things to do. However, the City of Sins was specifically developed and designed to cater for these activities and not for raising families like other cities. Therefore, it's very important to take another look at the city and see the reasons why you shouldn't move to Vegas. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell.